Hello focus Leon here. Eight months on testosterone, it's getting closer to a year. It's actually like two thirds of a year. Um, it's weird because I was not here last year, obviously because a year has passed and things change. I started on testosterone on March 13th of 2020, and which was lucky because like that was the day after the country closed uh, and so I was just blessed really to be able to start the testosterone. Everybody always asks this because I keep forgetting really. I take 1000 milligrams per 4 milliliters of libido every 12 weeks and um, that's my dose. I, the first two shots though they were six weeks apart just to be precise. This is probably going to be a shorter video because like things have sort of stopped changing they haven't obviously but i just can't really notice the changes as much anymore uh, and it's not freaking me out it's just like okay well that's boring uh, for you uh, for me i'm pretty happy with where i am now uh, just in terms of my age because i actually do look my age now so i'm sort of just content and i know that whatever other changes are going to happen in the future uh, that's just gonna happen and feel more in line with my age now because I feel like I sort of stabilized in a way uh, in terms of just looking more like my age because I am 19 I'm soon 20 years old and obviously I do sort of still have like a, a baby face but I do look more like my age now than I did eight months ago when I was also 19 and just so not looking my age like compared to the other guys I lived at this folk high school at the moment at the time so it's sort of like a boarding school and uh, just living with the other guys there it was just I felt a bit dumb because I didn't look my age and it just felt it made me so dysphoric to not look my age but I do now and that's one of the changes that I think really has come in the last month just looking my age but I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop talking about that now and go into the voice update because people always love that part Hi, my name's Leon and this is my voice pretty. Hey, my name's Leon Bell and this is my voice one month on T. Hi, my name's Leon and this is my voice two months on T. Hey, I'm Leon and this is my voice three months on T. Hi, my name's Leon and this is my voice four months on T. Hey, my name's Leon and this is my voice five months on T. Hey, my name's Leon and this is my voice six months on T. Hey, my name's Leon and this is my voice seven months on T. Hey, my name's Leon and this is my voice eight months on T. I don't know if the voice keeps changing now because like not much is happening really but one thing that is happening my beard it's not a beard yet but like it's filling in and it's getting darker like hair as well um it's like pointy black hairs and then just what do you call it like fluff the rest is just fluff but the hairs the proper hairs are coming in which is a bit exciting because i feel like in my family they have some good beards. And so I know I'm gonna have a nice beard. And I'm really looking forward to that whenever that happens in the future. I'm also very just happy with my voice. I think in general, uh, I think the emotional thing, the emotional thing, the emotional part of just existing now and uh, the changes I've had on T emotionally, those are a bit more prominent now. So late in uh, my tea journey uh, I'm obviously still in the beginning of it all uh, because I've got the rest of my life ahead of me and things are going to change but I feel more I've talked about like being more content and at peace just in myself now but I do remember like when I used to watch those tea update videos guys used to say like I don't cry as much anymore I cry more like I'm an emotional fucker I, I was emotional before as well and I, I don't think I am more emotional now but I cry I cry a lot and my theory at least is that I'm more in tune with myself now my emotions and uh, I don't sort of have to put this filter on myself in order to not be as sensitive to the world because I just I'm just feeling like myself now I forget that I'm trans I do make these tea updates and I do talk about being trans on my channel but other than that in my life it's something that's not at, on my mind at all I'm just myself now and I think that's made it possible for me to be more in tune with my emotions and because I'm an emotional person I do cry more. I cry like almost every day and if I don't cry I almost cry because I just get emotional whether it's like a good emotional or like a happy, happy cry uh, or a sad cry. I cry a lot uh, but it's kind of nice because 
I used to just get frustrated because I, I it didn't feel safe really to be emotional. I don't know if that was dysphoria, like oh you're emotional, you're soft, you're whatever. That's dumb, you know, because being a guy doesn't mean you have to be less emotional. I think it's not about that. It could have been, uh, at least not as far as I was aware of. For me, just as far as I am aware, it's about being content and at peace with myself and being more in tune with who you are makes it safer and also just possible really to feel your emotions to the extent that they are there and therefore I cry more now. And I know I, I'm talking about this like in such depth now and it seems like such a small thing but for me that means a lot being able to cry and express express my emotions more freely uh, whether it is sadness happiness and not necessarily just in terms of crying but just in general i can express my feelings in the way that i experience the world more just accurately in terms of who i am and in terms of what i really want if i do have a conflict with a person i know this isn't about for example i'm not really mad at you i just have had maybe other experiences in my life that makes this tough uh, so I'm not going to be mad at you but I might just need like an hour break now I might not have to go for a walk so I've become much more self-aware on testosterone with the way I feel and live um, how, in the way that I treat others when there is conflict which is nice and it could be as I've gotten older I've experienced things and I just learn like a regular human being but I do think TS helped me because I am more comfortable with my body and therefore also in being and feeling so that's interesting so I think the biggest part uh, or the biggest change the last month for me has been more beard growth uh, more hair on my arms <laughs> more hair in general like it's filling in everywhere really I'm expecting to have a hairy fucking back but I think that's it. The emotional things, like feeling emotions, has gotten easier and not as tough, even though they might be like very difficult feelings some days, um, it's easier still uh, because I know who I am and I do know what I want, which is nice. It's very nice. So yeah, just thank you so much for the support to everyone and like if you are in the process of starting tea, like really think about it, watch my other tea videos because you're going to like see some of the other changes as you can expect because this video wasn't really informative in that way. This is just me this time and not really that many physical changes. But be prepared for physical changes as well is all I'm saying. But for me personally, this month that's what happened and obviously in four months time I'm going to do like a whole last summary. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, stay safe, eat food, drink water, get some sleep when you need it. And I will see you next time. Toodle fuckers. Bye.